Oh, correct. And I was looking this at the brackets. Really, we're, we're gonna be able to cash the second half of it. And I'm, I'm glad for that. Hello, everyone out there. My name's TGM, one of the other uh, shoutcasters. And I just got back into town, so excuse my being tardy. And when we had uh, one of the Fnatic guys, uh, Zero or Sam, he was uh, he was helping his co-host, doing a great job, uh, filling us in on some of these teams. Um, I mean, we watched Fistix last map do a nice comeback against the POC, and uh, they were sitting at uh, I think it was a three or four round deficit, and you know, brought it back to the win to tie it up. So this map will be the tiebreaker between these two teams. Uh, I'm wondering, you know, with campgrounds being one of the most popular and most played maps, uh, both teams are probably going to be extremely comfortable on it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people, this game or this map gets a lot of guff, you know, for being so played. You know, it's one of the oldest, well, I guess it is one of the original Quake 3 maps. But, I mean, it is yep. still a very good map, as much as people hate it. Oh, I don't hate it. I hate on it a little bit, but, but no, it's, it's it's still probably one of the most played maps too. Yeah. All right, so Fistix, I mean, other than dueling, I think it's a great map. Yeah, yeah, I, I would agree. I, I think that it kind of falls apart a little bit for, for the dueling. All right, we're going live right here, guys. Five seconds. This is what we like to see. This is the third map of this semifinals matchup between Fistix and POC. Um, do we know any info about these two teams? Because uh, honestly, I just you know, I'm not really following these guys. Uh, I can tell you, to be honest. Okay, that's alright. And Dodge saying luck as he goes down. Well, we've got uh, Fistix uh, hanging out at rail. Audi trying to get the final bits of uh, LG cells into his opponent, and uh, he is joined by one teammate. We got Raiden. Um, as the last man standing for POC. And he's not being very quiet about it. He's, he, he'll be dead in one rail. He hears the clank, clankety clank of an opponent. He turns his fo uh, focus over there, but he needs to watch out. And he exposes himself around that archway. Uh, his opponent does not take the shot, and he RJs over to the rail plat, but a shot by Audi will pull him down. First blood going to the fish sticks, boys. We're going to watch Audi this time around. Nice mid-air rail. We've got Adi picking up a pair. Gaps is impressive. Going for, for Husk. And he's just peeking out here. He's only eaten about one or two rails here. And uh, now he's got some uh, LG. That's kind of a weird choice. Raiden going up very strong. Almost getting the mid-air rocket as the RJ is over to the rail plat. And uh, we got Adi caught in the middle of the queue area um, and uh, gets put down. So that will leave the final survivor. Maybe dodge as he gets pulled apart. We have ourselves a tie game. Round begins in three, two, one. Fight. It looks like POC is going to set up at bridge. Yeah, and a lot of the oh. fish guys at the pillars. And they, they sort of extended out from bridge uh, to take over rail plat and RL. Uh, I kind of like that. You know, they realize that there's nobody encroaching upon them. They, they kind of spread out a little bit. But they haven't really left their zone. We got a nice uh, move here by Gandhi. Uh, trying to be less than peaceful. And come up behind POC. But he eats a bit of shaft work by Raiden. Raiden down to 15 health. Peeking out at RL. We're going to go take a look. We've got ZSX at 113 health. He RJs over a rail. He's waiting at rail plat. And he's going to go up against GCK. And I think a bit of shaft work will pull him down. GCK coming out on top of 53 health. We got a 3-in-1 uh, situation. Make that 3-in-0 situation. And the second um, win of a round for the Fist Jicks boys has now been earned by them. We're going to move on to the fourth round of the match. We've got a 2-in-1 score. Fistix setting up at Pillars, and uh, GCK is trying to get a peak rail as one of the uh, POC guys was full enough to go up the quad jump pad. 
Looks like Fish Sticks is just hanging on yep. to pillars. They're not giving it up, and it's giving them uh, a two frag, make that one frag advantage. Jaden, uh, I'm sorry, Raiden rather, getting a, a, a nice shot there. Four and three, man up advantage for Fish Sticks. Yeah, Fish Sticks doing a good job of staying at those pillars, and it looks like they're picking off the uh, overzealous POC guys when they kind of sneak in by themselves. Mm hmm. Let's take a look. We got Raiden. Sitting over uh, underneath bridge, wishing he had more health. Probably it's now two and two though. Let's take a look. His teammate, his ESX, is being a bit more aggressive, and uh, imagine the next person to peek their head around the archway. Will uh, be in a world of hurt. Almost ESX, almost getting a fadeaway rail uh, as he drops down from RL to the Q and uh, plugs the rail into the archway, but uh, ZSX now in a really difficult situation. That will give uh, the Fist Six guys the advantage. Make that one and one great rail. Raiden pulling down MD. Yeah, that's a great rail by Raiden there. So those uh, rockets there will tip off Raiden as to where his opponent is. He's walking around with 30 health. He's going to RJ up to RL. We're going to go take a look. Oh, uh, GCK is down to uh, 10 health. Does anyone know if that's pronounced Jack? Is that how it's supposed to be? Because that would be easier to say. Maybe we can ask an IRC land. Um, TGM, if you can join Fnatic.play, pound Fnatic.play on QuakeNet. That will help us with uh, getting IRC chatter. So far, we're going to see a very silent game here. Uh, GCK has definitely given away his position a few times with a few rockets, hoping to get a tag on his opponent. Both players are very weak right now, and just sneaking around the map, playing it Splinter Cell style. GCK uh, gets the win, extends the Fish Sticks lead by two, a three to one round score. And this fifth round gets underway. We have uh, Fish Sticks lining up at the pillars ready to defend their spot. This worked out for them last time. They're gonna try it again. I'm gonna go take a look at the POC and see what they do in order to try to crack that defense. We got Raiden turning his sights away from that hallway and he eats the rail because of it. Uh, one of the POC guys just tried to make a push. I got uh, Dodge hopping out and getting some LG work on Raiden. As pulled off all that armor, we got Nate Spam coming in at the RL archway. GCK getting a couple of frags. That will, uh, we have an exchange. We got four and four man up. Raiden getting a nice tap at uh, the, the yellow armor spawn over at Pillars. So yes, for, for those that uh, play FFA, I tend to call out items according to Team Deathmatch because that's uh, what I'm just more familiar with. So uh, in that case, the red armor is near the bridge and the yellow armor is near the pillars. Whereas in FFA, it's for pillars. Oh, we got Raiden almost getting a drop on DOJ, but he misses with his buckshot. And he's been pulled down. We got NHSB. RJing around. He is the last guy. Whoa. And he just went 999. Oh, man. Wow. He went 999, but he's, he's still alive. And he rails Emdine. Uh, but uh, GCK is there to meet him with a rocket. They were working together, and it paid off. An unfortunate little lag spike there during his rocket jump. Yeah, that meant he didn't hear any sounds. You know, didn't know that his opponent was approaching. Still able to get the shot off though. Uh, just he couldn't go for two guys. We got a quick lead here by POC. Four to two is the man up count. And we got an RJ maneuver by Raiden. And he's going up to RL, getting pulled out of the air by Gandhi with a great rail as uh, as Raiden was barrel assing towards that RL spawn. And it will be POC coming out on top. Four to two is the round score. And POC trying to work a bit of a comeback. We're going to see a duke out at bridge. We got three man up, four man up uh, for the fish six boys over at bridge. POC and this grid are backing off and uh, they're going to go try their look at the rail plat. See if that uh, 
uh, Angle's gonna give him a bit of an advantage. So far, not so much for Disc, but he's eating the rail every time he's peeked out. Now a bit of LG work. He's down to 13 health, having a hard time dealing out the damage. He's switching over to grenades. Gonna sit at RL plat. We're gonna